Hello everybody. I'm back. I have a few days off of work. I wanted to get caught up on some of these beginner series videos. This is a subject that was a little bit baffling to me at the uh, beginning. When I, when I got back into the RC hobbies, uh, this is something that was a little bit baffling to me. So let's talk about it. I'm talking about the connectors that are commonly used for your antennas. These are antennas or pigtails. And the connectors, uh, well, most specifically SMA versus, versus reverse polarity SMA. So SMA and RP-SMA. Now the deal is, is that these connectors uh, originally were used on the SMA connectors. I believe were just used on Wi-Fi equipment and then they got adapted because they're, they're particularly good for these uh, higher frequencies. Your video transmitter works at 5.8 gigahertz. You probably know that. So when the uh, when the, when they were developing this, and this is the history as I understand it, is that they wanted to make one that was uh, more difficult to clone. So someone came out and made the reverse polarity SMA connector, so that you couldn't just use one person's parts on another and. Honestly, I would like to file that guy away with whoever came up with those little things in magazines that fall out every time you open the pages. It just seems like a big inconvenience because you, you order the wrong antenna, which I did. And these are 40 bucks for two of them, so they're 20 bucks each. And, and then, then you have them, so you either have to return it or, or maybe you have a use for it. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to keep all of my stuff on regular... SMA connectors without the reverse polarity and the way these look the normal one is going to be just like uh, I hope I have this all framed this normal one is going to be just like you would expect from for instance a cable connector for your cable TV just a little bit smaller so there's a, a pin inside that sticks out and this would be considered a SMA male connector. So it fits over, for instance, this is a pigtail for, for a VTX. It fits over that. The pin fits into the hole. We all know how that works. And, and then you have a good connection. If you accidentally buy this type of connector, this is the reverse polarity male, and that's where it starts to get kind of hard to wrap your head around it. Is the is it male? Is it female? I'll let you uh, think of the, all the jokes involved with that on your own. I'm not going to get into that. But if you try to connect these two together... You're not going to have a uh, you're not going to have a solid connection from your VTX to your antenna, and then that's potentially can uh, damage your VTX antenna also. So make sure you're connecting SMA connectors or SMA male connectors with SMA female connectors, and also um, our reverse polarity SMA male connectors with reverse polarity <laughs> yeah it's hard to do that uh, SMA female connectors now when you buy these antennas from TBS and this is not universal across the industry uh, they're, they're kind enough to color code them for you the standard SMA connectors are uh, given to you with a gold the reverse polarity SMA connectors are given to you with silver so you can kind of quickly identify which one is which most of the time everything that I have is uh, usually anyway that, that I buy for instance my goggles here you can see that there is a regular SMA connector on there so you need that same on both sides of this now there are I have found some I think I have, thought I had one here maybe I don't this is a connector here. This is a reverse polarity SMA female, which has the pin in there. 
I know it's mind boggling, isn't it? That would connect to this antenna because it's a reverse polarity SMA male. <laughs> so that goes together. Everybody's happy. Politically correct, all that. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be, so I hope this has shed, shed some light on, on this subject. Just make sure of what you're ordering when you order, or you're going to just have to return it and order um, and reorder. So I hope this helps. I'll catch up with you in the next video. I'm trying to get a few of them done in the next four days while I have some time off. I'll see you then. Take care.